Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at uh, US indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, January 19, 2021. If you like support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is spent down below. You're welcome to join us. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, the Dow Jones, and then the NASDAQ. And as you can see, we have uh, rallied a little bit today. We have found uh, support here at the 20 exponential moving average. So that is roughly at 3,751. Uh, and uh, at this moment, we are actually targeting 4,000. So it's way up here. So there is a lot of room, uh, well, a lot of work left to, in this. We'll probably, we are basically in the channel here. And if you look at the, the way this has behaved for the last few weeks, we are actually trading within this channel. So, so at this point, we are just going back and forwards, back and forwards. And our target at this point is 4,000. So that is the long-term target for um, the S&P 500. At the moment, we are finding um, support here at the 20 exponential moving average. And that means that we're probably heading towards roughly 3,900 before we uh, go back down. So it is um, the markets in the United States are not open today, so there is no stocks that have been, have been trading today in the uh, in the in, in the United States. So it has been a fairly slow day. Um, there's going to be a lot of action this week. Uh, President Biden is, because, is going to be inaugurated on Wednesday. So tomorrow will probably be a very uh, busy day. You could actually expect this to pull back a little bit. And then when you, uh, when you hear his speech on Wednesday, expect this to rally. Because I think that he's going to have a speech that is going to be very, very optimistic. And if something that markets like is optimism, it's going to be it's going to be more stability in the United States the next uh, next coming months probably, and that is also going to be very good for the markets. Markets love liquidity and they love stability. That's when they thrive thrive the best. You just see when Biden was uh, vice president the last time. We can go for a week hour weekly chart. So that is basically this entire run here, all the way up to 2016, roughly there. We can see that we had the largest bull run in basically in the world, in, in US history, basically world history, probably. But these were very, very good years. And the main reason for this is basically liquidity. The central bank was basically pumping. Uh, I think it was like 80 billion um, dollars into the economy uh, every single month for for years and years. And uh, yes, that just kept the market going up and up and up and up. So we had some major um, pullbacks. For example, here we had a pullback and we also had a major pullback here in the Trump administration. And then, of course, this was in um, Roughly in the beginning of uh, 2020, when everything fell apart, we fell underneath the 200 moving average, way underneath, all the way down to 2,178 in the S&P 100. And since then, we have best just been rallying. It has almost doubled in the last in the last uh, nine months. So, but at the current at this moment, we are basically trading within this channel. And as long as that is the case, it is possible to buy at these levels and just wait until it gets to the top and then sell it again. I do not like shorting um, indices, especially not these three, three indices that I that I analyze. I use, usually just buy them. So I wait until we get to the bottom of these uh, finder support, then buy, hold them uh, as long as I basically can. Sometimes I'm, I close them before. But at this point, I'm going to target roughly 3,900, hopefully 4,000. So we could get something that looks something similar to this, but that is very unlikely. It has been behaving uh, similar to this. We have been rallying, pulling back, rallying, pulling back, and so on. So at this point, we have found support, and that's why we entered, um, or I've been thinking about basically entering 
a buy here. I expect a pullback tomorrow, and that's when I'm basically going to enter this market. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So we can see that the Dow Jones has uh, rallied a little bit. It found support here on Friday, and today we gapped up a little bit, and then we rallied. Um, at this current stage, I also think that we are going to pull back towards the 20 exponential uh, before we go higher. So we need to break this uh, 31,179, uh, give or take, and then we're head towards 31,500. That is going to be our next target. Uh, after that is 32,000. 32, so we are also in a channel here. It has been going up and down. The 20 exponential has basically been supportive for a very long time, now, all the way back to to uh, the beginning of November when we started this rally. It has been supportive. And every time we get close to it, it is a buying opportunity. So target here is 31,500. But I do expect a pullback, uh, a little a minor pullback here uh, tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, this is most likely going to rally quite significantly. So we can just look at what happened when Biden won the election. This was one, one of the biggest uh, rallies in the history of the Dow Jones and also the Nasdaq and the, and the S&P 500. So let's look at the technical indicators. And as you can see, most of them are very bearish at this point. Stochastic, no, MACD is very bearish. Uh, Stochastic is bearish. The CCI is bearish. So we could have a minor pullback before we rally. If we take out these uh, previous highs, then we're heading towards uh, 31,500. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ, we did enter today and uh, we entered it right here at the 20 exponential moving average. It has also been very supportive for a very long time, all the way back to, to uh, the beginning of November. We can see we broke down here towards the 20 rally, pull back, rally, pull back. And we have just gone back and forward like that for a very long time now. So we're also trading within this channel here. Write it up something like that. Yes. So the target at this point, it will most likely hit around 13,400. Uh, 13,500 is actually where I'm hoping for this to, to pull back. And um, in the long run, it is going to be 13,000 that we are going to target. If we break below this channel here, then we have the 50 moving average right underneath. I just don't see this falling apart all the way down to the 200 moving average like we have seen. Um, well, we haven't seen that for a very long time, all the way back to March last year. But a breakdown below the 50, for example, is not something that I expect to happen here. Um, if we rally, if break down to the words of 50, I'm going to expect a lot of people entering for a buy because it will become very cheap. And the reason why I don't expect a major pullback is because the next few months, there's going to be a lot of spending, there's a lot of stimulus, and um, everybody will most likely try to work together in order to uh, get uh, the, the US economy going again after, well, a horrible year of both the coronavirus and also uh, pure um, bad politics, economic decisions, and so on. Um, U.S. economy or as a society as a whole is not working as it's supposed to be. So Biden is is going to try to fix most of that to um, go back to something similar to the era of uh, Barack Obama and so on. So. There's going to be a lot of spending, a lot of stimulus, a lot of uh, um, uh, quantitative easing uh, from the Federal Reserve, and that is just going to pump this market higher and higher. We're going to see a pullback towards the 50. Uh, I don't expect the 200 in the next probably few years, um, but the 50, that is going to happen in between. But those are also the times when you can basically get this very cheap. If you look at the technical indicators, they are still looking fairly bearish. So 
we haven't started this rally yet. I think that we're going to stay here uh, for a while. Probably we could break down towards this trend line and then rally uh, on Wednesday. But I started to buy in here. And uh, if we go lower, I'll continue buying in to the NASDAQ because this is something I'm pretty sure that it's going to go significantly higher the next few few uh, weeks and also months. So 14,000, that is probably something that will happen within the next month, a month and a half. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.